here's Michele. And we're in his shop where workers produce some of the most beautiful Maiolica, which is double fired pottery in this town of Maiolica, La Città della Maiolica de Ruta. Come on in. And Michele is going to show us some of the wonderful artwork here. Allora, the name FEMA stands for what? For Fabrica, Factory, Italiana, Italian, Maiolica, Artistiche, Artistic Maiolica. This workshop of Italian artistic ceramics, Maiolica. And they have some extraordinary painters who work for them. And some of them do work which we call historiato. Can you show us this, or are you afraid to lift it up yourself? No, I think that's true. Is this him? And this piece is really precious, but only for painting, but also for the shape, the shape with the snake handles. Because in the firing, this could break. So a piece like this with curved handles yes. will be costly. It's very precious. You could lose it in the kiln. Uh, this yeah. one, can you show us this one? Yeah. With feet. Feet. Yeah. On the back. Centerpiece. All Center. centerpiece. Absolutely gorgeous. Pulcra sole, bella come il sole. Beautiful like the sun, isn't she? Now what we're going to do is take a tour to see how this myolic is made. Okay. All right, so we'll begin in just a minute. And we're going to see a potter working at the wheel. And if I'm not mistaken, Michele will correct me. I think he's been working at the wheel since he was about 14 years old. Now, this is Massimo, and he's been making maiolica since he was 15. Now, in this machine, the clay, which is coming from Borgo San Sepolcro in southern Tuscany, because there's not the clay supply in Deruta that there was in the 13th century, is put into this machine for the purification. You're going to hear a loud noise in a minute as he turns it on for the purification of the clay. What do I mean by the purification of the clay? We don't want air bubbles in it because that would call breakage of the maiolica. Okay, go Massimo, vai. Vai, vai, vai. He said, I knew I was going to be photographed, that's why I shaved today. Uh, Extraordinary to see how he brings up the clay on the potter's wheel. I said, I don't care if you spray me. He said, well, if you get dirty, I said, it's white. I can easily wash it. Look at this. Look at this. Coming up. Coming up. He's feeling the thickness. Dipping his finger in, he's using the fingers to create the thickness of the base he's bringing up. I asked him, do you ever have arthritis from all these heavy my hands? He said, no. Bringing it up with his fingers. It's not easy. Feeling um, the thickness, doesn't easy. he make it look easy? It's hard. Come over here, some of you, to see it. I it love it. Come on. Dirty. Come on, Lisa. You're in black. I know. You know I don't show care. the dirt. Come on, little girl. Look at this. Now watch. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. You gotta see this. Come on over, our table. You see, he's feeling the thickness, feeling it on the outside with this finger, bringing it up, making it perfectly uniform. He's gonna work on the lip of the base very shortly. This is a demonstration just for us. This is not a piece to be sold. Now, look what he's doing with what it will create on the border. This will find in Bordo. Sagomato. Sagomato. What do we say in English for sagomato? Wait. A design. Wavy Wait. border. Wait. Wavy border. He said, I can feel it's the right yeah. thickness. Because I don't want I to know. risk that I have a base that's too heavy, too coarse. It has to be delicate. Oh, the there he is. Look at the final touch. Yes. Uh, ah, can you see this? Make your pie. And you 
you want to come in and look inside, this instrument is used to measure the height of the objects if he's creating a series. For keep consistency. Grazie. Grazie Massimo. The Wednesday, some days for dry, you can see darker color of fresh pieces, light color of dried pieces. When pieces are like those, are ready to go in the kiln for the first time. And the first firing is at how many degrees? The first fire take 26 yeah. hours. How many degrees? 12 hours for arriving to the maximum temperature of 1,020 centigrees. Okay. 14 hours to cool down. That's very important for avoid breakage. And that's the reason because we don't advise put these pieces in a microwave. Dishwasher safe, but please avoid microwave because it's dangerous. The kiln for the first firing. The huge kiln here. First firing. And this is. Yeah, we build many different floors until fit completely the space inside. Many layers. And when pieces are finished after the first firing, pieces comes out in this way. Remember, I mean red clay. It's gray before, but red after. Pieces are this color and this consistency. Now the pieces are ready to go in the room of the painters for big glazing and then painting. He said, they're here for you. Oh, oh, thank you. They were supposed to be home. Grazie. So this Grazie. is a true sign of friendship. So be sure you compliment these women on what they're doing. Amen. They're not usually working in the men. They're not usually working in this kind of heat. So. Began in 14 years working here in Maiolica production. Allora, what are you going to do, Michele? Next step is the glazing. So you have seen the pieces come up by the king after the first firing process. Now pieces need to be glazed. So the pieces go inside this container uh, of minerals and water and uh, we use this special utensil for uh, cover completely each piece with this glaze for, come, for come the base. Si chiama? What's the Italian name? Ah, questo è una, è una pinza. pinza. Pinza, well, yeah, it's just a, pinza. a kind of pinza. Yeah. See? Look at that. You will see that the, gla the drying is very fast because pieces are porous, so they absorb the glaze and in a few seconds we can touch and move them. Ah. And uh, this glaze is declared very safe by the European community, correct? Absolutely, absolutely for food they use, uh, minerals and water, natural. Obviously no lead at all. Now we need to clean the bottom part for avoid the sticking during the second and final fire, you can see. Now we have the base for the painting and we can go close to the painter for see. So here we see a painter working. Buongiorno. E lei a che età ha cominciato? E io ah, sono vent'anni che faccio la decoratrice. She only has been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> and painting. And it's interesting how they hold their hands to steady them. Some will hold them on a bolt of wood, some on the other hand, because it's very important that the hand is steady. This is probably an order. Chi ha ordinato questo this disegno? This is from a restaurant in uh, Switzerland, for the, in Verbier, Swiss mountain a Swiss, a Swiss mountain restaurant. This is, this are, uh, is working for the classical Rico de Ruta. That's the final look of the plate. Can yes. we see the Rico yes. de Ruta being painted? Yes. So we'll come around yes. here and see the Rico de Ruta, Rich de Ruta. And he's got beautifully painted arms as well. Gorgeous <laughs> tattoo. Roberto does not get nervous if we get close. Look at him, how he steadies his hand. It's nice to kind of zero in on the hands and see the different techniques that the painters use to steady them. How long does this take to paint? One hour and 30 minutes for complete painting. The pattern is done with a stencil. So his artists an, create the stencils. Stencil. Can you see the stencil here? We put on the, on the top of each piece and with the carbon, uh, the design keep on top and then the painters can uh, follow. They pounce it. Yes. And so then they're following the stencil. And over here, you can see the stencil here, if you come in closely, yes. 
Ciao, Francesca. Ciao. You can see the stencil here. And Francesca's now painting on the stencil. Michele, where is this plate going? What order is this? this what is kind of order? This is for a, a restaurant bar in London, in UK. And of course, your work is sold at Biordi in San Francisco, yes. where oh. you'll pay four times what you pay here. Mm -hmm. If you order directly here. Artistica, we supply Artistica, the most famous uh, online uh, website, uh, yes, for cell ceramics. Now, the pieces, before going to kiln, need another thing, because it's possible to do and to put the pieces directly after painting, but uh, it's not like our pieces, because our pieces are very vibrant color, very vibrant color, because we do this thing. And this is really what's unique about being is this because after, after, after the painting, before putting the pieces in the kiln, we spray using that airbrush gun, a clear glaze, which covers completely the piece. You can see the design is underneath, but comes out during the second and final fight. So they're doing a, a crystalline glaze yeah, before clear the glaze. second yes. final fire. What, what, pieces now are ready to go. Like this, you do up, up, yes, finally. The process is uh, similar to the first, different floors, depending on the size of the pieces until fit completely the space. And they are in... Same time, 26 hours, what changes the temperature? First fire, remember, 1,020. Second, 920. Slightly less. Yes. Only 920 centigrade for the second fire. But will remain in here 26 hours after. Yeah, 12, 14. And at the end, we have the pieces like you see in the show. Let me ask you this. I think this is very interesting. I found it astounding, astonishing to me. I said, how can you maintain your prices now that our gas is cut off from Russia due to the Ukraine war? Would you please tell everybody what it used to cost and what it costs now? You told me one time your expense per month was? No. Normally we spent 1,800 euro. Now we spend uh, practically 5,000 euro. For the gas for yes. firing? Yes, for firing. They have to fight with it. But I said, how can you maintain your myolica prices? Yes. More than three times as much after the war. Hopefully next year come back or hopefully next second half. We'll come down. Year, come come oh, down, come down. And now we'll go in and see the beautifully finished myolica. There's many a company that does this Raffaellesco, inspired by the grotesque which Raphael put into yes. his paintings. Beautiful Rica de Ruta. All the factories in Deruta do Rica de Ruta. They do Raffaellesco, but they have their own interpretations. And right over here are the plates done for a French restaurant. So in some of them, there's um, cauliflower in the center. Some have fish. Some have lemons. These are all individual plates for a Parisian restaurant. Consider a mix a shape and design exactly like you want. If you like this biscotti jar in this design, it's not ready now, but we, you can order and have ship it to your private address in US. We have very special rate with the UPS and FedEx. So you take the side pattern yes. and change the shape. And so also, you can have the consistency for the design. So you let like people per personalize the piece. Your pieces could say, Deruda 2022 family trip, yes. for example. Yes. People have their plates personalized as wedding gifts. Yeah. Grazie. Okay.